Hello, this is Sandra Hart. Decisions. Why is it, it seems, that the older we get, we have to really make big decisions, yet those decisions are really harder and harder for us to make, aren't they? They say that habit is our biggest competitor. And I really think that is so true. The years that I was raising my family, I lived on the New Jersey shore in a great big house that I remodeled and made my own. I have so many memories there living on the shore, raising my children. My daughter was an equestrian and she was riding horses. We had so many horse trails around in the area, but I lived in a town one square mile. That's all it was, one square mile. And I lived on a cliff overlooking the ocean. Every single morning I got up and I could look out my windows and see the ocean and also 14 miles away across the water was New York City. I had that beautiful skyline every single day of my life. When you are surrounded by memories and as you get older, it really is hard to think that there would be someone place else for you, some place where you also could be, could be happy. And then I realized no matter where I went, I could take my memories. Two years ago, I sold my house and it was a really difficult decision for me because I had lived there 44 years, I had raised my children and I had so many wonderful memories there. But my husband was getting older. The work at the house was becoming kind of overwhelming. So I had to make a decision and weigh whether or not at my age, I had better move on and downsize a little bit. But that really was a very painful and hard decision for me to make. But when I made it, I never looked back. When downsizing, one of the most difficult decisions is to know what to bring. This little froggy was on my pond. These sconces I found in an antique shop when I first came here. And this chest is one of my favorite things. It was easy to bring. It is a Chinese chest that's over a hundred years old that they used to have by their beds. Uh, in, in China. It's the original lacquer and it has two shelves inside for storage. That's one thing that I have found when you downsize storage. You really have to be able to pare down and just have essentials and keep the things that you really love. This is the powder room downstairs, and we have a full bath. Upstairs with a jacuzzi, uh, it's really very, very nice.
storage creative you know where do you put things where do you store things that really is my basic problem here I don't have that much storage space this is a painting that my mother did and I had to bring that I really can't live without that I try to fill the house with flowers and things bring the outside in and this is the balcony off of the kitchen I have three balconies and an upstairs garden so it makes me feel like I'm outside and I don't have to walk down a hallway to get to my house we have a, a triplex and I can enter right from the outside these are all things that I brought with me the chest the painting and are all precious things that mean something to me of course my sign is Sandra that I would take on my public appearances I did this painting uh, a few years ago just sort of a colorful free painting and of course my family is always with me because I have memorabilia and pictures in the hallway and here's Sophie this is my desk this is where I do all my work. And a beautiful, beautiful banyan tree that must be a couple of hundred years old. This is another balcony that we have off of the guest room. And again, my workspace. And this is where I film. I film in this room. So actually, this is my filming area where I do all of my creative work. I also have a desk in here where I write. I can bring my laptop up here and be quiet and get away. I have a collection of Russian music boxes that Arthur has given me every year. And that clock that you see was given to me by my aunt. I had double pneumonia when I was about four years old and she gave that to me and I still have that. And I love my music boxes. I will probably give them to my granddaughters pretty soon because there's no use for me to keep them anymore. And so downsizing can be good. It's just you bring your memories with you. You open a new chapter in your life. And make your life easier. Although change is difficult at our time of life, it also can be really wonderful. Sometimes being static and dreaming about something and never moving on those dreams can be very depressing and paralyzing. So if you look around and you have all of your wonderful memories and you decide it's too much work, you decide you want another chapter in your life, you decide that you want to downsize and have an easier existence from now on, think about it. It really is not that hard. And you may be really excited about your move and really happy that you changed your life and made it a little bit more easy in the years to come. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, be good to yourself. Don't forget to be kind to someone. And of course, I always ask you to share the love. Take care. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you in my next video.